on three, two, one. This is possibly the greatest thing I've ever found in storage unit to date right here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, I've been busy. I probably put some videos out by now, but we have been busy, missed a few days. I apologize for that. We are getting things ready for the big Alameda flea market this Sunday, the same day as the Super Bowl. Shout out to the 49ers. We've got customers on our way. We're going to go through things that we found out of that amazing silver hoard. Stuff like this. We haven't even seen it all yet. we got stuff getting organized. we got a guy coming over to look at all our paper things. We're going to make some money, and we're just getting clean here. Ooh, we have coins. We haven't even seen coins. Look at this. Ooh, coin books, silver. We've got antique autograph books. There's so much stuff that has not even been seen in this unit yet. These furnitures were just chock full of stuff. Just a whole box of... <laughs> tin type? Tin type, but as is. Not good to There's also... That's like a whole thing of wine labels. Old antique right, wine labels. We'll look and see what, got. what do you know about uh, wine labels? Um, the problem with them is that they're good to put on bottles and then suddenly you're making a bottle look very interesting if you have a vintage bottle. Yeah. But most of the time, there's lots of them. Uh, so they don't have an, an incredible amount of value unless they're really, really old. I'm going to guess these are really old because they came from a... Uh, well, I mean really, really old, meaning 19th century, 1890s. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. These people, uh, these people, everything they had, had was like really old. Yeah, like, these are probably 1940s, 30s, California wine port. It was a lot of like family heirlooms. Like I said, I had like two really nice paintings. It came with like little provenance letters. Like, hey, this right. was given to Aunt Beth in 1859. Oh, cool. and did it have any decent names? The, oh, yeah. One is a J.A. Stewart. And I think his, his are 3,000 on average. Oh, that's good. Comes in a nice frame. It's got the metal plaque and everything. It says some words in the back that it was where he made it and stuff. It's kind of nice. Then I got another one that's really nice, but I can't read the name. It's about 1850s. Uh, not that probably this is a great sticker, but it's kind of cool that it's uh, uh, it's funny because uh, um, I'm Jewish from a family that was from the Bronx, but this is like uh, the New York Light Today wine, mm. the Tel Aviv thing. So. Nice. But I got to probably have that. But like this kind of thing, you know... Very common. One to three bucks a piece. Yeah. And then, uh, but still, you. Uncouple here. It's an old Lionel. That's kind of neat. Almost looks sterling. I think it is. Uh, now, these are. Um, these are Victorian or turn of the century decorations, but most of the time they're uh, iron pipe metal. Okay. Those. That's so nice. This unit has some, like I said, 30, 63 pounds of sterling silver. Wow. It was all. Uh, meaning flatware? Or, it was or mainly flatware. Coins too? But or? Th th no, it was all flatware and plates and bowls. And I weighed up everything that wasn't weighted, and then I figured out there's about four pounds of weighted. If you took off the weight. Right. Still very nice. So is that uh, it's about more scrappable stuff or stuff that you will take out and uh, I, I honestly I don't I'm not I don't have time to scrap. Or what? I don't have time to sell it piece by piece like that. So you sell it in a big lot to well, somebody? Yeah, like for instance the nicest thing is a Tiffany bull. It's got oh, the monograms okay. well, sure, on it. That's different. Yeah, but the big old initials across the, the center of it make it highly undesirable. Oh, okay. Which people don't realize. A lot of people like when on they tell me I'm stupid because I, I sell I scrap the monogram stuff, but it's so hard to sell. What do you think of this? It just says. It just depends what it is. It says, just says France. A, uh, uh, um, I think this is their belt buckles for shoes. Oh wow, there's two but of them. Those are nicely decorative. Oh okay, so That's, I have another one somewhere. Yeah, I'll be a Victorian belt. That's very very nice. The the work on the side hmm. for it being uh, you know brass or whatever. Okay, yeah, here's the other one. And you're probably right, because look, there's leather like a shoe. Right. They're nice, though. Disapproval application for certificate of label approval. Ah, so 
someone actually was designing a label. Okay. And so they uh, they got an application for label approval. I guess with the alcohol and uh, administration, you had to it had to have proper. Uh, uh, thing probably showing the the what the size was and the alcohol content for you to uh, oh wow uh, to a boy scout you know diaries are really hot items right now on ebay just what? regular diaries sell like hot cakes sure on eBay. i sell them too I'd be it depends what they i'd be seeing them for like 250 bucks and stuff well but it's so funny you know i've sold some boring ones for 15 to 20 too so it just i think it depends were those actual sa sales yeah i see them there's some gold in here. That's for my guy. Nice. Oh, look at that. A 14 karat, like dog. Oh, no, it's a. Uh, it's the Masons. Mason. Nice. These guys were definitely Masons. That's a cool little lot of stuff right there. Maybe sell that on my eBay. Oh, that's all gold in there. Nice. So many little trinkets. I don't see anything else of notable worth in there, but you never know, huh? Probably another sterling one in there. Yeah, I, mean, I don't see like tons of like, awesome. I don't see like tons of like fifty dollar items and stuff like right. that. But I think everything cumulatively is cool. I do also do mystery boxes, so oh, I just put. Funny. I show them a little bit what's in here. Got a lot of these glasses here. Not gold. Ooh, foreign coin. Nice. So are there auctions this week, or you, as you said, are you getting trying? To I'm trying to get ready for Alameda, and I've been trying to. I've been getting kind of swamped. Like uh, life is not. It's very busy for me with YouTube and everything. Like I, I'm falling behind on little things because it's hard to keep up with everything. So this week is catch up, get Alameda ready, go on a vacation the next Sunday. So I have to taking the family to Tahoe. Oh, good. The old lady and all the kids. So who's the old lady? Um, How long ago you were just you were having to leave wherever you were. Oh, yeah. I was homeless for eight months last year. I had three. Hustling. I had $3 to my name. The storage business was uh, not working as well because I wasn't doing things right. I wasn't working. I was only making YouTube videos. I turned it all around with some uh, serious storage buying because the storage business is really lucrative often. You get a G-A-R. Don't go for that much this thing, but it's a $20 bill. This right here? Oh, gold. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, these were nice. Let's see what it is. Fraternal. It has State of California. That's Eureka. Ukiah. Ukiah. It's like the uh, Mason thing, right? Uh, I'm looking for symbols. It's a California. I don't... I don't see Masonic on it, but there are a lot of Masonic lodges that are not... Yeah, maybe like a moose lodge or something. I'm pretty sure they're gold. Oh, this one. That's a few bucks there. That was in this top dresser drawer, I think. That drawer is still full of stuff that I didn't. You say this is 20 bucks right here, that one? And we got this coin right here too, ladies and That's kind of a nice coin. Got another silver coin. This will probably end up in a lot on the YouTube auction. This looks like all mystery box stuff to me. Ooh. A Sterling L. L is for love. A few bucks here, actually. 20 bucks, maybe. I don't know, 10 bucks. It's so, Which one is it? Is it it's old. 1962 Frank Robinson. Yeah. Oh, that may be. Black and white photos for days. Cabinet photo, turn of the century. How many photos do you think you've looked at? Uh, at least probably, a million. Or somewhere 500,000 to a million or something like that. You've had to look at over a million photos in your years of hunting everybody's collections. Something. Oh, those are like hand painted, huh? Well, they call it hand tinting or hand coloring. So, uh, but you're right. They uh, they were actually kits of like watercolor mm, paint okay. for painting uh, for painting photos. This lady was an artist, so she probably did some of them. Yeah, well, you remember they uh, there was photography at that time, and there's. <laughs> If you wanted it to sort of look like main, like real life, you you added tinting. To yeah, it. I have like her whole collection of personal artwork, and that's how she, I think she accumulated other art because she was friends of artists back in the eighteen hundreds. 
This is pretty family oriented. There's a nice young man playing the sax. Yep. A lot of times they make them today, but they're either gum packs or cigarette packs. Yep. Prison art. Have you heard that before? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I but, find these all the but, time. But they now make them mm. in all kinds of places. I think they make them in Mexico on the street, to be honest with you. Okay. So, um, but sometimes you get one that looks just so unusual and with some age, you know that it comes from, you know, comes from uh, uh, somewhere not, not commercialized. I think the stock certificates were in one of those. Remember I showed uh, you those? I went through all those. Okay. I didn't see any stock certificates. They were mostly... Uh, uh, stamps. Tons of stamps. I don't know. Maybe we'll make a stamp collection on the auction. For, ooh! Look at those. Come on, Mickey Mantle or something. A few bucks if you get the right one. Because these are old ones. They're not... They're key ones, right? They're keys to every set. Vita Pinson, Johnny Romano, Jim Maloney, Dick Stewart, Warren Spawn. That's a good one. But, but the cool thing is they're from the Warren 60s, Spahn, though. That's got to be pretty late, because he... Yeah, 60s. In his, in his career, that, that guy's career. Doesn't say, though. Nice. Our stamp guy over here. Uh, so far, you, you, you know when you have a serious stamp collection, when the albums become serious. <laughs> oh, wow. That's when they moved. Some sterling silver, yay. I think we needed a new chain. We broke one the other day. Got more stamps. Well, yeah, but I always let the stamp guy look at them. There's postcards, but not cool ones, right? Hotel Gor Royal Gorge. Those are at least mailing stamps. That's not bad. Have you ha ever had a series of stamps? Oh, yeah. I, at one point in my career, I bought a stamp, a Scott, ca sca Scott, blah, 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 a Scott stamp catalog, and tried to price every stamp in the collection. When, it was at one time when Scott and I bought a unit, we found like twenty thousand in unused stamps or something, or twelve thousand. We just sold them all at seventy, sixty percent. This looks like a good one here, no? See, it has like um, a label number on it. Inflation notes. Mm. This big wide stuff, especially Italy. Oh, okay, it's not. A, it's not a wine label. Nice. So, uh, so you don't cross. Unfortunately, this is uh, unmarked. I think I'm about to. That's gold fill. You know to save your gold fill up. That yeah. Gold. You ever sell you save your gold fill up? Yeah, I, I treat it as you silver. Enough of it, you can take it to the salvagers. Yeah, I feel like I'm. What I'm from what I understand is it has the same scrap value as silver. Uh, well, it's funny. Uh, about thirty dollars an ounce in good gold fill. That's better than silver. Yeah, it's that's kind of neat. Kind of a weird uh, inkwell, huh? You want that in your palm? Uh, I don't know. Let me look at it for a second. Okay, so so it's an ink. Or what? what the, it, then you bring it up, and it's got ink on it. What the do with it then? Put your pen on the tip of it. <laughs> Maybe you punch holes in it. Well, it looks like a puncher. It looks like there's it? a spring on the end. See that? Yeah. No, oh, that's for going up and down. Uh, it's interesting. Nice. Got some silver going here. Watch anywhere. That's the guarantee. I feel like I have a a, a <laughs> clock that might be. It just says France on it. Look at all these cool little postcards. You saw uh, his garden. It's a printed one. Fort Alcatraz. Ooh. That's not a good one? Uh, it's just actually, we have that one already. Deep Creek West of Nevada City. I mean, obviously, like anything, these are lithography. You you want the real photo ones are better than, than the... the people still send postcards. Uh, Nowadays, it's just like, I sent you an email. Well, you see, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Text see you a, a photo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm on the beach with the Mai Tai. Uh, My how communication has changed. Ugly baby. Some photos. A lot of ugly babies in photos. This is the one right here I showed you, huh? Oh, okay, yeah. So it was over there. 
Can we cash this in? No. And like I told you, the biggest thing, most of those things, they'd gather money from people, and they'd be they'd go under in a year. Mm -hmm. That's why you see so many different companies. That sucks. That's funny. So what do we have here? Companions, the illustrated order of Red Gross, all valiant and magnolia, so, uh, so Knights Templar. So even though there's all this extra uh, stuff, when you see the cross yeah. and the knight, typically it's Knights Templar. But just like that gold medal you saw over yeah, there. Yeah, that could uh, be from it that. It could be a variety, it could be Knights Templar for all we know. That's what this hat was, right? Uh, no, that's uh, Shriners. Shriners, okay. <laughs> Still cool, 10, 20 bucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, $20 bill for sure. People uh, buy them. Is that another one? Uh, yeah, same thing. 7,500 shares. <laughs> now, it's not illegal to sell those, right? No. No, 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 no. It's not government, uh, government related. Can I, can I have this land? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you would like this. Peter, land. what are you doing? So I can't own this land with this? Uh, no, because it's been deeded uh, five times since that time. Okay. It's just the record. Uh, uh, the what's... fun one about looking at old deeds, uh, they don't allow the sale to blacks, Chinese, um, um, Lutherans. I mean... Oh, this is somebody's last will and testament right here. Yeah, because that's typically what you're going to find in a document box. Is, is oh. there... Uh, is there, More uh, stocks? Uh, yeah, there's... Uh, Come well, on, can we be rich? This is later. Oh. This one's probably going to be teens, 1908. Going to stock, the uh, Stockton tomorrow there? Mike? No. no. Stockton was today and I didn't go. No. Uh -huh. Look at this. Did your buddy go? Scott went. Uh, no, who's the uh, guy that you had me go over to his house? He came to Concord. Uh, Jack. Jack. Nice guy. Yeah. There's narrative. Of course... It's not saying who done it, but what's cool about it what is stationery does he use Pacific Railroad? Uh, Pacific Estates Auxiliary. Oh, Pacific Estates. But uh, um, and you know this could be copied from someone. But Bullfrog, uh, you know this is kind of relating to California, Nevada, Bishop Creek. A song. So I mean, I don't know. I mean, hmm. uh, it's is it a treasure map? Will this take me to yeah. gold? Ooh, we got some coins. Some Asian coins. I never really found an Asian coin collection. So check this out. This doesn't apply to this. some neat stuff, I think. The pile looks a little small. Norman Shaw, same family or, or Shaw family. Yeah. Over here too. Shaw. This is what I'm saying. This is all from that unit. American stamps. You can tell the difference right away. Oh, sure. Or European, too. There's uh, Sweden or Norway. Germany's a good one. Paris postcard. We've got rat stuff in here, too. I think the most interesting thing out of this thing is, is, that, ba is that sack. It could have, the, <laughs> could have the stamp on it. You know, Find out where, if you see anything in there, well, where in the hell it is. <laughs> it's... That's the, like I said, it's always the, the closest thing is going to be is that a little drum no. that yeah. says it's a lot of times, see the drum sometimes has the band. Is that a gold map? Uh, it's a plot plot map for the thing. Hold on one second. Now you got me uh, got me screwed up. Just one second. Perspectives one seven.
gonna need that wood barrel there. Is this in your pile? I just had it there too. I, I, I didn't even get a chance to look at it yet. Well, this goes with this. Hold that one. It's just an indenture. There's a bunch of those over there. 1881. That is old. Oh, these are receipts. I need to go with those other things. Gravel mining. That's big. <laughs> These, that one's cool. So it's a Shell X100. Wouldn't it have been cool if they were been Indianapolis or something? Oh yeah. Uh, 350 bucks for my part. That's good, That's fair enough. I appreciate you having me look. No problem. UHS, Ukiah High School. Oh, is that what it is? Well, I'm, I'm wondering because remember something said from Ukiah. And. 120s, you don't care. I like hundreds. Okay, there's three. Yeah. Sweet. Look at that, guys. We made money. How are you doing? You don't sell nothing online for people to view if they want to buy stuff like this piece by piece? Uh, just eBay stuff, you know, just e eBay. Uh, like yesterday, I picked up some stife animals, a dinosaur, a couple dinosaurs. Kind of oh, wow. cool, they're about this big. Yeah. You know, I popped them up at 100 piece. I got a bid on each already. Oh, wow. Uh, what, 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 what's your site? What? Want, want to tell, oh, the sure, world your tell the world what your site is? Tell the world what your site is. Oh, uh, yeah, you see bears. You see bears. And... Uh, but, uh, no underscores or nothing, just UC Bears? Just UCBARS. All right. Wow. I thought this was the best one for him to look in. Through all the commotion, if you just saw he came and bought stuff, we ransacked and kind of filmed and looked at all these neat trinkets. He buys paper, postcards, etc. He's very, very, probably one of the easiest men to deal with. What I like about that man is I never have to say a price. I just tell him what's fair. I know he's a reseller. He's always... He's gonna. He's trying to double his money. He's not trying to get quadruple like a lot of people are, et cetera, et cetera. Every time he's ever given me a price of what he's willing to pay, it's good. I just let him price his stuff always. Fair enough. But he forgot this one box. And we're about to see what's in here because I thought this was going to be a good one. On three, two, one. More of the same stuff. Paperwork. Okay, Georgia C4 Fountainhead Stocks. Wow, the golden egg. Oh, this paperwork, checks, old checks, photos are always good. Okay, we got stuff coming. We got stuff coming. Another one of those maps. 
He bought one of those. I wonder if this is the same thing that he would have bought. First floor plan. He liked photos. I don't know why. The golden is a table. The golden egg appear gold is not a tiny instead of hummingbird high in the lofty mountains. Lease agreement. All right. The golden wedding. I'm intrigued by old paperwork because some of the stuff could be priceless. No. Nope. He liked photos. There was none in there. What is this? Ooh. Is this a diary? Portland, Oregon. August 24th. Nice. 18th, January 23rd. That's like today, isn't it? What is the date? No, they went to the February 25th. This is almost today. Wow. Almost today in 1870, Leroy found a large printer. Shapiro on the floor of the... I don't know what that is. This is neat. 1898. Okay, another diary, it looks like. This is what I... I think that these are something right here. When I saw this box, I opened it up. I was like, okay, we're going to set this aside. I saw something exciting on the bottom of this. 1871. Vacaville, Sunday evening, my dear. Okay. General Merchandise, Whole Grain, 1870. And then we had this. Mike, why are you slamming things around? What is this? This is... November, Washington, November. This looks old. This looks like really, really old. 1793. Yeah, I had a feeling that this one was going to be cool. Seventeen ninety three. Wow, look at that. November. Let's go out here in the sunlight. I can't read this. The Rose of Rhode Island and Providence. Seven ten. It's like when it first came a state. This is like literally Justice's Peace. John Waite. This is crazy. November 8th, and that's probably 17, same, from Washington. What is all this? We're going to have to have somebody look at these pieces for sure. Oh, that's another. Uh, what is this? 17. 1726. Henry... Na Northen Jr. I cannot read this. 1726. Know all the presence of Henry. Wow. This is George Thomas. Seventeen twenty-six. This is possibly the oldest legit piece of paper I've ever found to date, right here. I'm getting knots in my stomach just holding this, thinking about what this potentially has to offer and value. Holy smokes. My guy should have been here to see this. We didn't even get to this box. But this is probably not something he would have been able to buy because I have a feeling this is really big money. 1806, most honored father. I have taken the first opportunity to inform my arrival after the approval of the 50 days. Boarded several. Matthew Waite. Photographed. The general from the Spanish China troops. Wow, what is this? Something to do with all this? Hmm. 
This is nuts right here. Knots in my stomach as I think about what this is potentially. What is this? To John Waite by the Honorable Nicholas Cook, Esquire, Governor, Captain General, Commander in Chief of and over the state. What? Is this Cook? One thousand one hundred six. Could this be somebody who was on like the Declaration of Independence or something? This is, <laughs> you ever find something when you when you're a treasure hunter this is what i do for a living i search that's why i buy these units that people think i'm crazy because it might look like nothing it might look like something that sat in a barn it might look at something that's covered in rat poop this it just it has a look when i'm looking at it you're searching for treasure of unknown these documents right now as i hold them I believe that's what they are. They're documents of someone. You can see they're handwritten. The chills that are coming down the back of my spine thinking, I think, I think that this is something that I, who, who. <laughs> I can't even speak right now. This is something to me that potentially could become the most valuable thing I've ever, ever found in a storage unit. <clears throat> oh my. What is this? Seventeen thirty-five. Wow. Chills, ladies and gentlemen. This is chills. Probably not to you. I think of those. This. I need a breather because this is got this has got my like guts turning right now. This is nuts. This is this right here is possibly this is possibly the greatest thing I've ever found in a storage unit to date. Right here. Okay, we got better photos taken. I am just in uh, guys. I don't even know what to say right now. I I have a feeling these are valuable. I don't know if I'm gonna I'm overfilling it right now, but right here you see some of the cr craziest looking this document seventeen. 77 right here this thing is older than who <laughs> wow that's my most favorite one so far out of all of them even though this one's 1735 and 1726 this baby right here so far to me looks like the money shot i got a lot of research to do with this can you guys believe this out of the independent companies in the state of duly improvements Okay, this is this is crazy. Can I ask what you're doing here? Looking at my records, sir. Yeah, I'm just over here scrounging through some guy crash. Yeah. <laughs> what are these? The good ones? No, no, these are just things that I'm oh. propping up. Propping them up. Quite a large collection here, so I'm just trying to. Yeah, I just found some amazing documents from the 1700s, and I'm over here just in awe right now. Are you really? Yeah, because I'm hoping they're like priceless. Good for you. I, I need a hundred grand. I'm trying to make 2700 a day, which I'm failing at. We need to work on that. I know. I'm, it's irritating me. <laughs> Someone told me recently you need to make $1.90 a minute to make a million dollars. And it's like now I'm just constantly stressed out that I'm not making $1.90 a minute. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. I had a really great weekend. Anything good here yet? Uh, just one potential. But... Okay. Could be 15 20 mm -hmm. blue note but it's a later blue note but it might be worth like 10 or 15. and then this is on crown which is kind of like the ktel version of records okay well, we'll get into that in a minute if this may i forget who the players are on here oh, we're almost done with these records ladies and gentlemen but yeah you have a collection of different things that'll add up but I don't know. I don't know how deep you are in this unit, but I'll see if I can help you dig out of it. I found 63 and a half pounds in these two units oh. of silver. Of? Ooh. This looks like 
some blue wings and what is this? Looks like a good one. Lead belly. Folkways. The cover looks screams good record to me. Yeah. And the takeaways from this collection is the lead belly, impressions, Fleetwood Mac, Nina Simone. What is the Fleetwood Mac worth? Um I think in this condition it's worth at least fifteen. Alright. It's really clean. Now there's my fingerprints now all over it. What about the one on the bottom there? Because the, I feel like that the lead belly one? Um That's jazzy. No, it's blues. Blues, that's blues. what I meant. Blues. It's a uh, pretty good shape. It's a two record set. Released on folkways. It's probably nineteen late fifties, early sixties release. And I'd say that's at least probably 30, 35, maybe more if the right guy comes along. This is Big Brother and Holding Company. The other one's worth about 10, maybe 15 in this clean condition. Got a few little scuffs, not bad. Uh, Bolasete. Bolasete. This is guitar. That's one that I, if I saw this, like when I'm flipping through, I would, I would like set that aside. Mm, really clean on that, that fine, uh, you Good label. The, the fantasy, but I'm trying to figure out what would you call that color? M like maroon? A, like a burnt, yeah, yeah. Burgundy. Mauve. Burgundy with gold. Yeah. Uh, text. Really nice. Dark red. It's about a $20 record. This being the impressions of Curtis Mayfield. And it's on the ABC imprint, US. A little dirty. This might uh, be a 10 to 15. And there's this Four Lessons in Jazz, which features art, Blakey, Jazz Messengers, Mingus. Nice. And what they are, it's a, basically an EP, so it has four different things going on. Okay. But uh, I think it's probably, in this condition with the split, it's probably 25. And then everything else kind of falls into a lot of folk, a lot of popular, you know, just like Tony Bennett's and your Streisands and common records from the 60s and 70s yeah not a lot of 80s even though hey everybody's seen the king the king's records aren't really really valuable until you get further back into his son years for me anyway and then contemporary jazz more more vocals and that's it pretty much fairly 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 common stuff aside from this little small pile right there oh Okay. Go through this. Not this. Okay. All right, now let's go. Now let's go. Okay, so. So these it's, are it's just keep going. Look, we'll look through it and it might piece together for you. Like pretend like you ain't never. I don't know what it is, and you're just looking this box and you want to make sure it doesn't have money in it. And we keep going. You got like another one, right? Mm -hmm. And you got another one. Okay. Looks like band members. See, this says guitars. Okay. Bass. Oh, okay. Emotional stage and presentation. Yeah, keep going. Oh, okay. It gets oh, better. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. Okay. This is a promo kit. For yeah, somebody. but keep going. It gets better and better. It's like the oh. it's like the business. Okay. Very cool. Some more and more of this. So. This is for stuff they were doing. Oh. Okay. So is this the individual here? I don't know who the, who this is. This is, was in this all this unit. This was like one briefcase. Somebody was obviously into trying to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe this was them. Mm, okay, I don't know. Maybe. Let's but you see look. like. One full of blues. Cool, cool. So maybe somebody that was either a promoter and trying to get these bands. Yeah. Uh, in, in clubs or in on stage somewhere. For, that's cool. Running gear. That's nice. I have a feeling this might be some good stuff. Yeah, I would say. It's looking like it already. Okay, Jimmy Carter. John Signed. Yeah, these are cool. All right. Very cool. Oh, Albert King. Wow, nice. Cool. All right, Albert King. So, like a jazz pianist. Pianist. Or Matano, she's an R&B vocalist. Has has uh, her records before. More room for the blues. Jerry Smith, huh? Okay. Cool, cool. 
Oh, all Harvey right. Harvey Mandel. Yeah, yeah. Is it Howie Mandel's brother? I don't think so. Okay, I had to ask. I know, I've often wondered that when I see the records. So, well, okay. Wow, that's very cool. That's some, yeah. some BMI stuff coming up, I think. Oh, okay. I skimmed through this a little bit, but then like, it's been in the back of my mind. Because okay. i got to figure out what, what, it, what it's worth. Takizo, he made a huge career. Yeah, what was his uh, claim to fame? Was he a pop artist? I don't know, making an O-face. <laughs> yeah, some more Johnny Hart and stuff. Nice. There's a lot of these. Cool. Oh, this is Gate Mouth. Possibly. Some jazz players. I think of who these guys are. I like how you say players, like they're in a, like they're in a, a team, you know? Yeah. Is that, I mean, like, is that the word players? You, jazz players? Yeah, players. Yeah, that's what they use. For, the, the, you know, when you speak, musicians speak. That's how they... Muscle white, cool. The shaft? I don't no, think so. No, almost looked like him for a second. No, that's not Isaac Hayes. This has got... Hmm, has a Bay Area uh, connection to it. This is pretty tight, though. I agree. This might be Gate Mouth again. Let's look at Michael Here. J. Fox for a second. Fucking Sydney. Well, look that, that looks like a good one. The Toot Toot Man. Yeah, I wonder if he was uh, maybe in New Orleans or something. Where that... Zydeco or something. That looks like a good one. J.J. Malone. Yeah, this person must have been a promoter. Or what, right? How would you... Something. Why would you have all this stuff? And maybe you were a... Or maybe he had a club, or maybe he had something where he would run in. Maybe he was a studio guy that was an engineer that was doing projects for people. And he got all these things as there's, kind of mementos for working with the artists. There's so many different stories in this this whole one unit. It's crazy. Yeah, some cool artwork. Storage units are a trip. Yeah, you get to see people's lives. It's a cold right. world. A BMI you, didn't, you didn't even look in the BMI thing that was oh, there. Oh, no, this is it here? Oh, right, okay. What well, that's why we say buy lives and sell memories. Like you get it's a person's whole oh, it's entire just like a, everything it's to register your music through BMI. Okay. It's an application, right? So you know the whole story around BMI and ASCAP, right? Yeah, we have. Don't we have some other BMI stuff? Uh, <laughs> when I found, <laughs> yeah, but um, for sure, it's it's all around licensing and protecting writers and artists' creativity. Yeah. And then this is another press kit for this Albert Williams. Huh, cool. All right, wow, well, a lot of stuff. Just keeps going and going. My gosh, how much can you fit in a briefcase? A great briefcase, hopefully a lot. At least a million where's dollars, the, right? The, cash and the Roots Band, B.B. King and Orchestra, Johnny Guitar, Watson, Desiree Miss... And Scotty Ford Systems Ron R. David Ritz. What is all this? Sounds like a pitch of the people and artists because he's saying attention cause. All right, page two. Where's page one? Uh. That's kind of a neat letter. I just saw B.B. King right there and I was like, okay. Gibson, USA. Hmm. Yeah, so he's, he's talking about all the different artists possibly that he's handled or helped what? along the way. Mm hmm. I mean, some of these people are in here, so maybe that's what It's that like is. a thanks to all of them. Possibly. Well, a lot of interesting stuff musician related, artist related. Looked like maybe a promoter, um, and a, maybe a, the same person was a writer or some sort of a studio musician, maybe associated with all these people in here. We're not sure. Not really getting deep and deep into all the Here we contents. Go. Hmm. It's like literally what they did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We nailed it. <laughs> See, we're actually pretty smart people. What's it worth? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. Ladies and gentlemen, comment below if you think you know what something like that is worth, and I'll let you know what I determined it's worth. How much value. is a briefcase worth? Not much. No? So. Well, this brings us back to now. That wasn't as interesting as I was hoping. Pig and a poke. What, what movie? What movie is Pig and a poke? Maybe a few. Family Vacation. 
Oh, really? Our vacation with Chevy Chase. Pig Remember they went on Pig in the Poke and that's how they won the money to go on I the... I bet you that term Pig in the Poke was used before that movie. Okay. I just remember they went to the Wally World because yeah. they won a trip on and it refers Pig and the Poke. to basically, yeah, basically nothing. Yeah, Clark? All I, got, all I got from this long trip to Europe was this, you know, when my family came back and gave me a shirt. So you're saying that this has any uh, value? Are you uh, trying to tell me? Uh, no. In a very short side, it's probably... Yeah, no. It's hard to determine because there's just too much of common things in there. They're in decent, okay shape. Then there's a bunch of really not so nice stuff. Again, the little takeaways are these 10 records here. Or let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine records. Well, it's a two record set. It makes it 10. Yeah, it's like a, probably a $200 bill to somebody. Mm. But anyway. So, yay. Comment below if you think this is worth more than 200 no, are you saying you offer two hundred? <laughs> I would only offer two hundred. Yeah, and I think we already have another. Give me one fifty. Okay, it's done. That's good bargaining skills, huh? Yeah, I appreciate you, Pirate. Thank you. Yeah. In case anybody out there doesn't know, Pirate is very generous and does things when he wants to take care of people. And he does it. Got it. You got it. Uh, repeat business is the best business. I agree. Because I'm a turn and burn guy, and I look for things that I know I can sell right away. <laughs> Move on to the next. So what I found out is this person right here, John Waite, and I think his name is somewhere else in other paperwork, is was in the Revolutionary War. He was a member in the Revolutionary War. I got a lot to research to do to find out. I haven't figured out much else about this, but I see regular papers, just regular ones from certain eras like this. They sell for like 800 bucks on eBay. You never know. There's so many names here. If any of these guys were of significance, you see George Thomas, Nathan Peasel. Can't even see if I'm pronouncing his name right. You see all sorts of signatures right there. See, signature, like different names. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff here. Depends on who wrote this. William Hall by Francis Williot. I don't even want to say the name that it looks like. It looks like a German leader there. This is crazy stuff, though. I've been trying to do research. I've been kind of infatuated with this. John Wade again. This one I have to read. Providence Plan. Plan Revolutions. To the sheriff, this deputy of the Bounty Washington. County information. And Cyrus French to keep the peace. Interesting. Yeah, we're going to do some more research on this. This one is 1793, 1743, something like that. Look at that. All these different signatures and names. Washington. I just, I'm intrigued by this. Present John Waite, S. Free French. I don't know. Might have hit a major jackpot.